It was Sunday night, I got a call from my athletic coordinator. He told us that a tornado had hit the school. We didn't realize how bad it was gonna be. It was something I've never seen before, something that you see on TV, but then when you see it in, in person, it's, uh, there's no words to describe the destruction that that tornado left, both on the community and on the campus. It was a day I'll never forget, let's just, let's just say that. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for being here. I really want to thank everybody. I want to thank the community for the uh, incredible support that we received. The emotional damage that was caused to, to the kids, what's going to happen to my family, what's going to happen to my home on top of the, well, what are we going to do for school? Where are we going? Not knowing, are we going to be able to play? There was a hole in their gym which caused a pipe to burst, flooded the gym, flooded the entire athletic wing. After the devastation, there was a game six days later. The role of athletics is a key role in the community, the school. It just brought everybody back together, supporting the team to kind of forget about what happened. Getting our athletes back to sports really helped them from a mental perspective. Being around their teammates, having that comfort that Coaches were there for them, teachers were there for them. For a lot of my athletes, it was just good for them to be back on the field. And it just really showed that our athletes community, our teaching staff, we're a lot stronger than what we thought. We've been working with Henry Schein for a very long time. They're the ones we buy all of our medical equipment from. Eric Hearns from Henry Shine actually reached out to my boss, Corey Eaton. Hey, there's a donation that we want to give. We have an athletic trainer that won an award and, and donated the money to us. The Tin Navy Assistant Athletic Trainer Award is an award that's given to one AFC assistant athletic trainer and one NFC assistant athletic trainer. This award is sponsored by Henry Shine. I went to Thomas Jefferson High School. Back when I went to, went to TJ, we didn't have an athletic training room. We didn't have an athletic trainer. Felt like that would be pretty cool to give back to your high school and give them a better athletic training room than they've ever had. Send us a wish list of things that you would like to have and we'll make it happen. And there was some stuff that I didn't add in the wish list, but they just came out and just brought us stuff like two new recovery systems, a new STEM unit, a Theramax. For athletic trainers, the essential equipment is, is needed for them to do their jobs, to make sure that these kids are returning to sports safely and recovering from their injuries. Knowing that I would get new equipment for the kids to be able to do their therapy, do their modalities, do their uh, treatments. It was just a great donation and, and just a blessing for all of us to have. The day that Henry Shine brought all the supplies, Eric and his staff actually came and brought them stuff themselves. They brought their trucks, they loaded it up in their own vehicles, brought it here and it was like Christmas. They, they just kept on loading boxes on the sidewalk. And I will say I've never had a company that came out on their own and just did it all themselves. They were present. I, I got to meet each of the staff members. Building a relationship with Henry Shine and their local reps, it is very important as athletic trainers to have people like that. It makes me feel a lot of gratitude that they're looking out for us. They're looking out for my kids. They're looking out for our athletes. Henry Shine just cares about who they work with. They're willing to go above and beyond. Before the tornado hit, I had a smaller room than this tornado hit, we went to the other school. Basically, I took over a small break room. So this is a significant improvement. Um, I will say, I think we give some colleges a competition. So let's make sure that uh, the temperature's at 105. Okay, it's, start, it's starting, starting to heat up. Yeah, up. I feel it. Okay, cool. I'm out. So we're going to have to do a little bit of more of a mix of that to get that. So the new athletic training room is complete. 
It was great to see the student athletes and the student athletic trainers come into the facility and just to see this new space has been great for them. It's lifted spirits and I think it's a, a great thing moving forward for Thomas Jefferson Athletics and for this community as, as a whole. I believe that athletic trainers play a huge part in our athletes' mental health. We as athletic trainers not only help to heal the physical aspect, like the body and the injuries, but we're also there to help build a relationship with our athletes. It's just not just sports, it's not just medicine, preparing them for their future. We're teaching these kids to be grown adults and be productive adults. You build a trust, you build a relationship with the athletes, and that's so important for the athletes because there's times where you're the only one they come to. Also, the value of saving somebody's life. There's things that, that, that we have to do, and that's why we're there. I think the value of that, uh, of an athlete trainer, you can't put a, a, a dollar figure on that. It's a lot of mentoring. I make sure that they're on class on time, make sure that they get their homework done. I you know, try to teach them discipline. When they need somebody just to hear them out, I'm there to listen to what they have to say. To do this job is not just about being a great athletic trainer on the field, it's to care about those kids as a person. You build a relationship with both parents and the students knowing that you're there for them all the time. So to me, it's, it's just more than being an athletic trainer, it's building a family atmosphere and that to me is what this career is all about.